So we're down to the last eight. The competition you sense rapidly heading towards its big climax. A dash for the finishing line, the showpiece final. Welcome to our live coverage of quarter-final day. It is good to have you with us. And you can see that the atmosphere is building very nicely. Super noise, grand level of expectation, and that is only rising as we head towards kickoff time. The Estadio Monumental here in Buenos Aires, one of the most recognizable stadia in South America. And here is the national anthem of Chile. Got the juices flowing, and now this. a sense of urgency from both sides here with uh, a place in the last four on the line. All the eight sides still left here are perfectly entitled to think they have a good shot at this, Peter. It is quite an atmosphere here, and that's clearly raised the bar in terms of expectations from the crowd. They genuinely think, or certainly the feel is, that they'll get to see the game of the tournament. Gets things running. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Arturo Vidal. He's always a massive asset because everyone, teammates and opponents alike, know he'll never stop running. There are very few who are better at breaking up opposition attacks and his aggressive, determined personality can give this team a very strong boost now, especially when they're up against it. Yes, he... Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Fred. And that's sprayed out wide. Alexandro... Oh, shooting chance! Oh, just couldn't quite turn it in. Chile can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Richarlison, Fred, Alexandro floats one over, looking to hit the front line, it's gone out for a throw in, and it's Vidal, plays it out to the wing, doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Defending of the desperate variety. Richarlison. That's a decent ball. Breaks on here. And he's going long. Richarlison. He's had a goal! Brazil take the lead. Just so calm under pressure. Richarlison really showed good strength there. Held his man off, didn't let himself get bullied, and got his effort away. Maintained control.
Brazil have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Well, registered Vargas! Had a swing, but it wasn't to be. Yeah, quick thinking and the right choice for me, but that was difficult to get right. Danilo looking cross field, changing the point of attack. He's looked long this time. Too much on it, and that's the keepers. Battles to win it back. Forward it goes. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. It's got through to him. He's away! Gabriel Jesus! That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. Fred. Danilo crosses it in. And it's hoisted clear. Neymar goes for goal! And he's there to make a great save. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Now it's Vidal. Aimed in towards the centre. Lucas Paqueta. Now it's Neymar. Gabriel Jesus. Chile seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? No, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Back to the keeper and go again. Casemiro. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. Hoists it forward, and it's Neymar. And it's played forward. Eduardo Vargas, Vidal. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. It's a clearance, but not much of one. Brazil leading by one and looking very comfortable on it. Looking to get within range. Goes for goal! And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. And there's a long ball. He acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Marquinhos. Mar and we've reached half-time. So there you have it, a close sport, half of football, but that one still had its moments, and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Oh, Peter, there really hasn't been an awful lot to separate the two sides. One goal scored from a breakaway, and, and that's it. So I'm expecting the second half to start in, um, in this manner too. And, and this is by no means decisive, and there's plenty of time left to, to get back into this. Brazil head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. Goes and we start the second half. 
Well, one nil may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Dinks one in. It's out for a goal kick. Marquinhos plays it forward. Balls out on the left now. Isla does well to read it and intercepts. Alexandro tried to play it through. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run. Fred tries to switch the play. Plays it long. He's got options out wide. Time and again, they are repelled. We can assume that they've been instructed by the boss to, to stay in attack. They're just looking to break, aren't they? Yeah, the key now is just to get the ball to them as soon as possible. Alexandro tries lifting it over. Lucas Paqueta! It's in! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! Brazil get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? And he's straight offside. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Vargas. Vidal. Eduardo Vargas provides an outlet. Eduardo Vargas. Time to deliver. Whipped in. Neymar. Fred. Richarlison. Neymar. Tries to stroke it through. Gabriel Jesus. Jesus has a goal! Vidal tries to dink it in. Helps available out wide. Going through. Eduardo Vargas. Oh, that's a fine challenge. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Fred goes looking. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, that is asking for trouble. And he heaves it forward. That's a throw. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Uh, it's a poor throw that, picked off with relative ease. And it's Neymar. Richarlison hits one! Still further. 
the understanding between those two plays a big part in that and releasing the run on side proved the key ingredient. There's going to be another change here. Brazil take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Keeper sends it forward. Aranguis. Hoists it forward, Alexandro cuts it out. Marquinhos goes looking. Alexandro drives it forward, it's Neymar! It goes to show he is human after all. Well, you can only praise the keeper for standing up to his opponent like that. Brazil making consecutive changes here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so... It's no surprise. Brazil really are almost trying to pass the ball through a brick wall at the moment. You can see the sense of anxiety has. He's through and all Gabriel! Oh, how's that for a goal? He's got himself a pitch of a goal! It is no contest, it is a landslide. Oh, Peter, it's a lovely piece of deception in shaping to whack it and then opting for a lovely little lob. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Brazil totally rampant here. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Alexandro hits that long. Knocks it away. For a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go... And the finish! It's there! A contest no more. It is nothing short of utter humiliation. Um, by the looks of it, there may be still more to come. Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. It's, Ga it's Gabriel! And the follow-up! And the second time! Jesus has a go! And the whistle's gone, you see the whistle offside.
all the way back and they start again. Time added on four minutes. Alexandro. It's a good run down the left hand side. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Mattel. And it's played forward. And the referee brings it to a close. Brazil through to the last four. Just two more steps now. They have got a crack at it. The final thoughts, Jim? Listen, it was fairly emphatic to move on to the next round with as big a winning margin, I think, can only benefit their campaign. A springboard win and a very buoyant outlook.